Now let's drag over our first page. So our very first page is this. And I, the important thing to note here is that your images need to be a, a certain dimension to fit in the iPad screen. Now a, a full screen iPad resolution uh, in, in retina mode is 2048 points across by 1536 points high in landscape mode. However, iBooks wants to always show the top status bar, so you have to subtract, you know, 20 points on the iPad 1 and 2, and then 40 points on the iPad um, 3 and up. So if you want to include a retina sized image, you would want that to be 2048 across by 1496 high. If you, the smaller image size you can go for is 1024 across by 748 high. So the first thing I do is I just drag the image on here. I will, all, I will now let it snap to the upper left corner and I'll go ahead and drag this bottom bar down and since we already have the image perfectly sized it will actually snap into place nicely. And so that is really the first page. Now let's go over to the table of contents. Here we have more text and we could delete all of this but in some ways we could actually just leave it there too. So I'm going to drag over the table of contents image and you'll see that the image actually just goes over all of this text so we don't really have to delete it if we don't want to but it's not a bad idea. So we're just going to drag this and uh, so it fills the screen and so it fits in there perfectly. Now on this image you'll notice that since it's a children's book we're, we didn't need a, an extensive table of contents so it's really just an image. And you'll see in the bottom there's this place for thumbnails. These are the thumbnails for all the pages that will show up and you need to make sure that you don't include any text down there and that everything that needs to be seen appears before that line. Okay, let's go to the book cover. Now this is the cover that will show in the iBooks app and it'll also show when during the animation uh, when the user clicks on the book and the book opens up. And once again we can go ahead and delete all this stuff but we could get away with leaving it there too. I'll just go ahead and delete this very quickly just to start with a nice clean slate and now I'll drag over the cover image. Now this cover image also has to have space for the top status bar. So in this case, the, if you want it for a, uh, a retina sized image, if you have a retina sized image, it should really be 1536 wide by 2008 pixels tall. And if you want to go with a smaller iPad 1 size, that would be 768 pixels across by 1004 pixels tall. So I'm going to snap it to the upper left corner and go ahead and drag down. Now in this case I didn't add any text in iBooks Author. I just uh, added the text in the image editor. So it's, it's already baked into the image. Now before we pre the, preview this book let's go ahead and add a couple pages. So I'm going to click on this chapter up here and I can either right click and go add page which I'll do right here. Or I could go up to this Add Pages and go down to Pages and I'm just going to go with the default here. And this is how you will add all of the other, this is how I added all of the other pages in Bell Bell Where Are You. And just to make it clear that we're seeing these when I do a, uh, a, a test run, I'll type in Page 2. I'll click down here, click on Text Box, and I'll type in Page three. Now one of the really neat things about iBooks Author is that if you have your iPad connected you can preview the book right on your iPad. It'll show up in the iBooks app uh, next to all the books you've purchased and it looks very neat. If you don't have an iPad you can actually run it on your Mac in the iBooks application on the desktop. So the way to do that is go up to the preview button and I click preview. I don't have my iPad connected otherwise it would show up here. And uh, if you do have your iPad connection, you'll need the iPad open, unlocked, 
and you need to have the iBooks app open. And if you don't, it'll give you an error message. So let's go ahead and hit preview and we'll open this thing we just created. So the book just opened to the page we had open, um, but we don't. Let's go, uh, let's go back a few pages. I can use the navigation arrows on my keyboard to go back to page two and then page one. And that's what it looks like. Now, if we roll over the mouse on the top here, we'll see this middle button for the table of contents. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click on thumbnails, and it will take us to the uh, table of contents screen. And so this is what it looks like. And if there was more pages, these thumbnails would go all the way across. And if we want to see the cover of our book, we can click on this button right here, and it'll take us to the iBooks library. And you'll see in the upper left, that is the cover of the book. So you really get to see exactly what it'll look like when you publish it. Well, those show the basics of how to create an iBook. And in future videos, I'll show you some of the other stuff, like how to uh, make the iBook play sounds. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, please check out Bell Bell Where Are You, which is in the Apple iBook store, or head over to joealexbooks.com and uh, see what books she has there. All right, thank you very much, and I hope you have a good day.